Hello guys, here's Martin and welcome in another Photoshop tutorial. Today I'd like to show you how to create this kind of um, creative lights effect. Um, it's a very simple tutorial. Um, I hope you're gonna like this. It's a tutorial for beginners, so everyone should find something um, for themselves. It's a really good tutorial to start your adventure with Photoshop. Um, it's really quick and simple. So uh, just let's start, that's how looks my uh, final result, uh, maybe this result might be too strong, but of course every time you can change this. Uh, so in this tutorial I'd like to show you how to turn your regular uh, simple image into this uh, effect. I show you the image I started with. That was the image I started with, so I'd like to show you how to turn this uh, simple image into something really nice, interesting, full of life and creative light. So just let's start. I have to remove all of these layers I made. So delete all these uh, layers and here's our image. I've got that image uh, from point 0.5 and I think it's really nice to this kind of effect but first I'd like to duplicate my layer I don't call this original so at first we have to change the saturation and we have to change our lighting as well so just click small icon on the bottom just here then click hue saturation and take down some saturation maybe about 30 or 25 should be okay, but not too much, around 30 is fine. And lightness, I uh, put about 15 to make this image a bit um, uh, hard to say that maybe a bit foggy, um, not uh, with such a huge contrast. And now we can add some gradients, which are really important in this kind of effect. So again, click the small icon on the bottom and then select gradient. In this case, I'd like to select angle, or oh, sorry, not angle, but uh, it was reflected, and then change color for whatever you like. I think in this effect would be nice to use some kind of, um, maybe not pinky, but nearly pinky, something between red and pink color, uh, something like this. I think it looks really, really nice. And after that, change, uh, change blend mode into the screen and as you see it looks really really nice if it's too strong you can change opacity every time you want and after that i think it would be nice to add another gradient this time a bit different gradient and i'm going to use just white color and the style for the gradient is going to be angel just like this then change blend mode this time for soft light because uh, we need different kind of effect and of course again if it's too strong if you do not fancy such a strong effect change opacity into 50% I think 50% is like really good uh, for this uh, image and after that you can add another effect Let's, uh, let's do this creating layer. I'm gonna call this just shape. Select polygonal lasso tool and just need to do something like this. Just simple shape. Um, actually, it can be every kind of shape, whatever you want. You don't have to do the same kind of shape as I do. Then go to solid color and select maybe white, maybe a little bit uh, gray color. Then change uh, opacity again into soft light. I mean uh, blend into soft light and opacity into 40% maybe this time. So this layer, our image looks like this. It looks really nice at the moment, but 
the thing is we missed some uh, nice effects so I'd like to add new layer and add some fancy brushes into this image which is gonna make our image really nice and impressive but to do this I decided to do all the credits at first put them into the group so select all of them then press command and G or control and G if you work in Windows and gonna call this shapes so next thing we have to do go under this layer we could do this before but I think it's better to see all these shapes uh, at first because now we can see our clean image without brushes and just the shapes so now we can uh, say if it's right or not so then go under this uh, group create new layer select explosion brush or shattered glass um, I found this on the internet of course link is in the description if you would like to use the same kind of brushes and of course select color white then click on your image just like this and I think it's wrong side so I'm going to need to use free transform and then just change the side of that um, explosion I think this side is much better then ok, apply now I'd like to create another layer and I'm going to use different kind of brushes of course um, actually it doesn't make any difference if we're gonna use this effect uh, under the shapes or above I think it's better under it's up to you what you're gonna do so let's find other kind of explosion I'm not sure what I really want so it will be experimental I have to try a few of them to be sure what I really want I think one of these should be here yes it's really nice of course, if it's too strong, you can always change opacity, but later I put all of this into the group and then I will change opacity. I found something I really want to or maybe not So maybe something more, I'm not sure. And now I think it looks really, really nice. And okay, I think it's fine like this. I don't want to add too many of um, too much different shapes, too much different uh, brushes, so just put that into the group again, command and G. I'm going to call this brushes. So if it's too strong, change opacity maybe to 70%, um, but of course it's up to you what you're going to do. Of course, you can do some experiments with um, So, um, I think I'd like to add another thing into this group. So, uh, 
get brush now I'd like to use simple um, round brush but for this one I'd like to use different kind of uh, blend mode which going to be soft light quite important I'd like to improve some uh, parts of this image some soft light or overlay might be too strong as you see that's the reason why I use soft light in this case uh, if you like to use overlay just change opacity later maybe it's even better But it depends what you want. I think soft light would be so much better in this case. So actually, after we're done, we need to improve some contrast maybe because I think this image is really foggy. So I'm going to use just curves at the end, drag down here, just here. Just like this, it looks really nice for me. Let's try other curve if you'd like to change your colors a bit. So, take a look. It looks really, really nice for me. Uh, hope to hear your opinion. Uh, I hope it's not much you can uh, try with contrast as well but I don't think it would be very necessary I'm right so it's done I really like this effect it's very simple effect and our image doesn't look um, so boring now not born anymore take a look how it looked before our editing simple very nice image actually but if you'd like to improve if you'd like to make that uh, really dramatic really uh, active image just add some simple effects and get effect like me thank you for watching this tutorial and see you soon in the next photoshop tutorial thank you